Welcome to the Daily Debrief, an inside look at today's top stories. I'm Jason Denant, and one of today's top stories is the return of the Nationals Final Rodeo here to Las Vegas, and joining me is Joe Bartels. Joe, tell us a little bit more about the return of this rodeo and why it's so important to our city. Well, this is a huge deal. Last year, it got moved out of Las Vegas to Arlington, Texas because of COVID concerns. They really wanted to have fans in the stands, but Las Vegas, Nevada would not allow it because of the COVID restrictions, so they moved it to Arlington. That's a huge blow uh, to the economy and otherwise. This is an event that's been here for a number of years. It sells out every single time. 170,000 people come here from all across the country. They spend upwards of $200 million for our local economy, and they come during December, which is historically a slower month for visitors and people around the holidays. So this really puts the icing on a typical, you know, Las Vegas cake, if you will, at the end of every year. So without it, it was a huge blow. But this year, it's back, supposed to be bigger, better than ever. And the city is really kicking this off. They're starting with events throughout the city. What has been happening in regards to down on Fremont Street and the return of this event that's going to just really energize the city as a whole? Yeah, so this is a two-day, really a kickoff event. It's a welcoming party, essentially, bringing back the best of the best in the rodeo world. There's a whole bunch of champions here, I think six or seven of them, all sorts of different events that they won their world championship titles at in the 2020 uh, year-end uh, National Finals Rodeo in Arlington, Texas. So they're here. They're going to be welcomed on Fremont Street, a big display under the Viva Vision of the Canopy, a special message from uh, Mayor Carolyn Goodman. Uh, this is a big deal. They're really rolling out the red carpet to remind them, hey, we're Las Vegas. Nobody does it bigger, better, more exciting than Las Vegas. And they're just going to kind of uh, show them the best time just to maybe like set the table for what's to come in December. And it is, it's interesting because so many people that if you're outside of the rodeo world, you may not know that Las Vegas really has been for decades now, the hub of the finale, you know, not only the NFR, but other of these type of events too. Have you heard anything in regards to Cowboy Christmas coming back or any of the other sub events around the rodeo? We haven't heard anything just yet, but I was on their website and you can see the events are starting to come back. So the, the Cowboy Christmas, that is set to go on at the Las Vegas Convention Center. So some of the things or maybe most of the things that we're used to seeing with the NFR coming in, all of those other ancillary events events that we've seen, there's no reason why we think they shouldn't be there. Um, but you're right, Cowboy, Cowboy Christmas is huge, and that will definitely be returning this year. Well, Joe, thank you so much. Is there anything else that you want to add in regards to the economic impact that maybe you've, you've talked with uh, the analyst uh, today in regards to this event as well? Yeah, he just kind of reemphasized that this is a crucial event. This is bringing people in. Uh, 64,000 of them come from out of town and they come here, they stay in our beds, they eat at our, our restaurants. This is a big deal. Um, and losing that much money last year was a huge blow. Uh, this year, that's a big, big, big deal for us to try and be on the road to, road to recovery. So many jobs, so many different things depend on this particular event, which is one of the largest that comes to Las Vegas in its kind of totality. So uh, a lot to be thankful for and celebrating this, this event. Um, it's also contractually obligated to be here for several more years. I've just re-signed. Um, but he mentioned that so many communities would be literally clamoring. He said they would give their, their, their teeth if they could, to try and get this convention, this, this event to come there. So Las Vegas, incredibly lucky, really synonymous uh, with Las Vegas with NFR and hopefully years to come. Well, Joe, thank you so much for your energy and always going out there and getting the, the nuts and bolts of every story. And for more on this story and all of the top stories, visit our website, ktnv.com.